Hi guys, today is Thursday. It is November 28th, Thanksgiving Day. We are in the mother baby unit right now. We got here around like, they moved us around 4 a.m. this morning. So we've been here since then. It is about noon right now. It's been kind of a hectic morning, so I didn't pick up the camera at all. Just with changing rooms and all the nurses switching and coming in and out, giving me my medicine and checking me and checking on baby and all that, it's been kind of crazy. And then our friends who were keeping JJ for us brought him over so he could meet sister and hang out with her. And then my mother-in-law went home last night after I delivered and checked on the puppies and all that. So she came back this morning, she got JJ and now Fred is taking her and JJ back home so they can just hang out there because this is not like a place for JJ to hang out. He was kind of going crazy. So he's taking them home and then he's gonna come back. We will get discharged tomorrow morning. She is down here sleeping right now. I tried to wake her up and nurse her because she hasn't nursed in about two and a half hours, but she was like literally not having it. She did not want to nurse. She just kept closing her mouth and going back to sleep. So I'm just going to let her sleep for a little bit longer. They said if she's at least eating every, I think like three and a half to four hours, they're okay with that. So I'm going to let her sleep a little bit longer and then try to feed her again. She's literally like so perfect. I feel really good. I'm like been up walking around and eating not a lot of bleeding or cramping or anything like that it's honestly so much easier than my recovery with JJ at this point with JJ I was like still in bed like so this time around is so much easier thankfully my delivery went really well I'm so happy with how it went I was in like active labor for about five hours, but the way that they did the epidural was not like a hundred percent. Like the way they did it was so that I could still feel when I was pushing so that I could help and get her out quicker. So I did still feel like all my contractions and pushing and all of that. But since they did it that way, I think it helped her come out a lot faster. I pushed for a total of like not even 17 minutes. The nurse said it was under 17 minutes and she was out, I think it was about four or five contractions and like three pushes each contraction. So she came out so much faster than JJ, so much easier. And I am just so glad that she is finally here. But she like latched like immediately and has been nursing so well. Just like JJ, I had no problem breastfeeding JJ ever. And so far it is the same with her it is so easy to nurse her she latches right away and nurses for about 45 minutes so i think she's eating really well and she is sleeping really well too she slept for about three hours earlier today and then has been asleep for maybe an hour an hour and a half right now and yeah we are just both doing really well so we are hanging out right now waiting for fred he's gonna bring back some food hopefully pizza i really want pizza so he's gonna see what is open though because it is thanksgiving day so he's gonna see what's open and see what he can bring us back to eat also jj did so well meeting her like i was so worried about if he was gonna cry or like freak out or be jealous of me holding her and things like that whenever he met her but he did so good like he immediately just wanted to sit with me and he was like gently putting his hand on her and then he was giving her kisses and hugs and he was just like so sweet and so concerned about her and it literally was like the cutest thing ever and I'm just so glad that he wasn't like freaking out and crying whenever he saw her
is almost 8.30 now. Olivia Rose is sleeping. She's kind of moving around though. I think she is getting ready to wake up and she needs to eat. It's been about, I think it's been about three hours since I nursed her last. So I'm probably about to grab her and feed her. And the nurses should be coming back in any minute to check on her and check on me. They came in a while ago. I guess they switched to back to the night shift nurses. So they're going to come in and check on us here in a little bit. And then we're probably going to try to sleep some. They're going to come in around 2 a.m. and do all of her hearing test and her heel stick and all of that because they have to do that at 24 hours. They're going to be doing that in the middle of the night. So I think after I feed her and the nurses come back in, we are all going to try to get some sleep. I napped for a while earlier this afternoon. I think I told you guys I was breaking out in like a rash and hives a little bit. So they gave me some Benadryl for that and it made me super duper tired. So I slept for a while when she slept. She's been doing really well sleeping for about like three hours at a time and then waking up and nursing and then going back to sleep pretty much. So that's kind of nice because I've been getting a lot more sleep than I got when I had JJ. JJ did not sleep like at all his first day. It's nice being able to rest with her a lot. We will get discharged tomorrow morning so I don't know what time that they're gonna let us go but we will be leaving tomorrow so that's gonna be nice to be able to go home. Be in our own bed and be home with JJ because I really miss JJ. It's so weird like not having him here with us. But yeah I think that is all the update for now. I am still having those same like postpartum cramps and contractions whenever I'm nursing her but they're not too bad because they are giving me Motrin and Tylenol. So that helps like a ton with those contractions. guys we are going home I am so excited to go home and see JJ I feel like I have been away from him forever now so I am just like really excited to go home and see him she's back there in the back she's sleeping I nursed her right before we left and then gave her a pacifier she's doing really well with the pacifier which is so nice because JJ never took a pacifier I am really glad that she's taking one so far I think we're gonna stop at the store and just pick up a couple of little things really quickly on the way home I feel really good and I'm just ready to be home relaxing with both my babies and get some snuggles in and get some good rest because I never really slept very well while we were in the hospital because just all the noises and checking on her and the nurses going in and out and all that you guys know what I'm talking about I'm sure but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so you can see more of our daily vlogs with new baby. Bye.